This is a 100-year-old potato salad recipe from my aunt who used to own a deli in Brooklyn many years ago. Her and my uncle actually owned a few different delis over the years. These are some photos of the delis. When she bought one of the delis, the previous owner provided her with all of the recipes that they had been using. This is one of the recipes. When I was growing up, my mom made this potato salad quite often. I have five pounds of red potatoes. I like to use red potatoes for my potato salad. The red is my preference. And we have two cups of water, two tablespoons of vinegar, a fourth cup of vegetable oil, one teaspoon sugar, a cup of mayonnaise, and a half of onion. I like my potato salad not a very strong onion flavor, but if you prefer if you like more onion, you could use a whole onion. Now this is the first step to make the potato salad. We have to scrub our potatoes and I'm using my vintage potato scrubber or vegetable scrubber. This is my favorite vegetable scrubber from the Fuller Brush Man. It's about 50 years old. The Fuller Brush Man used to come to the door with his carrying his little suitcase and he would come in and show you all the small products that the company would sell. So if you liked anything and he had it available, you could buy it on the spot. If he didn't have the larger items, you could order it and then in about a week or two, he would come back and deliver you your order. So anytime I have potatoes, I always scrub them. Whether I'm making baked potatoes, fried potatoes, whatever potatoes I make, I have to always clean the surfaces. It takes a little time, but it's, you have to do this. Sometimes, you know, the potatoes have a little dirt on it. Years ago, we lived near a potato field, and they would come and pick the potatoes, the professionals, and then whatever was left, as kids, we would all take our wagons to the potato fields and we would pick as many as we could find and we would bring it home. And my mother was always so happy that we got had some potatoes. Now there's a middle school on the property. Everything changes over time. Now the next step is to put the potatoes in the pot and then when we get them all in the pot we have to boil them for 25 minutes. Okay, I put it to medium heat. Now that the water has come to a boil we have to boil the potatoes for 25 minutes. Now we're adding two cups of cold water and two tablespoons of white vinegar. And we cook this. It has to come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, it's done. The water and the vinegar has come to a boil. So we're going to remove it from the burner and uh, let it cool off. Now my potatoes are done. It's been 25 minutes and the potatoes are ready to be drained in the colander and then I'll let them cool off. I'm wearing this vintage apron from the 1950s and this was my aunt's apron. They owned the deli for 40 years so when they retired my aunt said she wanted to give me her apron. 
that she wore at the deli every day. Now the potatoes have cooled and I'm peeling the skin off and I'm putting them in the pan. And the reason why I'm putting them in the pan is because my aunt who owned the delicatessen, this is her recipe and she would come home from the deli at night and she would make this potato salad every night so in the morning she would have it all ready because she would have to be in the deli at six o'clock in the morning so the potato salad would be ready to sell and the reason why I'm using the pan is because she always made her potato salad in her deli pan and then she would just have to take the pan with her potato salad made to work. Now the potatoes are sliced. I'm pouring the vegetable oil over the potatoes. Now I'm adding the teaspoon of sugar on the potatoes. Now we grate the onion over the potatoes and it all depends how you like it. I do a very very fine grate because this is how my aunt made it but if you want to um, grate your onion coarser you can. And you do your, you grate it to your liking. If you like a lot of onion, you can grate more onion. If you don't like too much onion, then you grate less. Now we are adding the mayonnaise in the bowl. And a little at a time the vinegar water. And then we mix it until it comes gets creamy. Until it's nice and smooth. Now I'm pouring the mayonnaise with the vinegar water. Um, I used very, very little of the vinegar water. So if you make this recipe, just put in a little bit at a time into the mayonnaise. Don't put the, the whole amount unless you're going to make maybe 10 pounds of, of potato salad. And just mix it up gently. And you could put as much mayonnaise as you want. If you like a lot of mayonnaise, you could put more mayonnaise. If you like less mayonnaise, you put less mayonnaise.
How does it taste, Grandpa? Delicious. Very good, Ma. Very good. Mm -hmm.